Welcome to Texas Haunted Channel. I pray everyone is having a blessed day. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button and welcome back to everybody who has been subscribed. Uh, today, I'm going to be showing you our new to us 2008 Acura MDX. This thing is in amazing condition. We did get rid of our 2003 MDX and traded it in plus cash for this. And it all happened on my birthday, which was April 20th. Uh, huge shout out to all of you who wished me a happy birthday. God bless you all. Um, but yeah, God blessed us with this on my birthday at a very affordable price. I was super happy. Uh, I wanted to get a video right away, but I also want to kind of enjoy my birthday. So I am a few days late here, but here it is. It is in amazing condition all the way through. It has that new leather, new car smell. This is basically what I would consider to be an Acura TL SUV. So it seats all six of us. Uh, it actually seats seven total, but um, yeah, it's definitely a very nice ride. And my wife is super happy because this is the one she originally wanted me to get. And it, I gotta go ahead and shut the door. But it has 124,425 miles and it was well taken care of. And it was drove here in Texas on the highway a lot. So a lot of those are highway miles. So I am super happy with this. Uh, my wife absolutely loves it. And it shows the all wheel drive setup. It's really cool. This is so fancy. Uh, but it has the J37, which is a really good engine. So I'll pop the hood and show you that. There wasn't really anything wrong with the 2003 MDX we had, uh, but this is the one that she wanted. It has, it's not known for transmission problems like the older years, and they are really, really good. It's a J37, and it is in perfect shape. We've got the dash cam mirror right here. It's just a normal mirror. If you haven't already seen these, I'll be doing another video on it. When you turn the key on, it shows you the dash cam, and it shows you front and rear. So we can click this, just click it, and that'll show you the rear. And then there's the front view, and then it has both views. Or if you don't want it on, just turn it off. But uh, that's a very good thing to have. I will leave a link in the description for this. So definitely check that out if you want one. Real easy to install. We actually have it on the cigarette lighter, but I am gonna be installing a cigarette lighter port and tucking the wire away. But it just kind of runs up through the headliner all the way to the back and just fed it up through here all the way through there leads to right here so it's a really clean install and uh yeah super happy with it now i do want to do something cool with the exhaust tips my wife doesn't want me making this one loud at all it's already kind of quick i want to do some stuff but i got to convince her you know little things here and there but i do want to do some stuff to it and put it on the channel for you guys this thing is definitely awesome but yeah, I'm really happy with what we've been blessed with. Um, also, if you guys are in a generous giving mood, please consider giving to K-Love. If you guys have listened to K-Love, um, they have an app. Just look up K-Love, and it's very positive, encouraging music. They are um, funded by the listeners. They are not running ads or anything like that to make money. Typical radio stations actually have ads that pay for them and fund them. This is all listener funded and it has been for 40 years. So if you guys want to consider donating, um, I recently just donated $120. That's a year's worth of $10 a month and uh, that's all I could afford to do and now we're broke. But it's important because it is helping further God's kingdom and ministering to people who need it. So just definitely consider that. I'll put some information in the description if you guys want to donate to them. But uh, yeah, now that we've got the MDX out of the way, I want to give you a little update on this. There's a company uh, located in Pflugerville, Texas, who's going to be sending me a battery relocate. Now, I know I said I was not going to do a battery relocate on this because the track likes to give me issues, but this battery relocate relocates it behind the passenger headlight. So a huge shout out to them for wanting to send that for me to do a review on. I greatly appreciate that. And I'll also be uh, meeting up with them at Little River Drag Strip in Holland, Texas um, sometime this summer, if God is willing. So uh, that will relocate that over there, and we're going to see how good the kit is. I don't like relocating to the trunk often, especially if I take it to the drag strip. They give me issues saying I have to have kill switches and all these other kinds of things. And see, I don't mind kill switches, but I have had, you know, the typical jerks go up and turn them off while I'm in a drive through or something like that. So I don't like having kill switches on there. Casey, my friend, did it as well. Um, it kind of sucked because I had to go back there, turn the kill switch on, then get back in and start it because it kills everything, kills all the power. So I uh, just don't want to do that on a daily driver like this one, but uh, yeah, supercharged setup is doing good. And in the next video, I will be turning the boost up 
I did take the supercharger pulley off and just paint it white and then the, the bolt's gold. I also have a little bit of uh, video information on this color of paint using spray can over on my other channel, the More Motorsports Garage, so please consider going and checking that video out so that way you can see how I got this gold paint to look as good as it does. But uh, yeah, overall it's doing good. Now we have to focus on getting most of the body stuff done because paint's chipping off like crazy. I used a pop a dent tool and it took more paint off. But I did get that huge dent that was here out. I mean, it's like, I'd probably say 90% out, 95%. Uh, so it's looking a lot better up there. But back here we have a problem. This one on the body line definitely needs some attention. I'm not very good at body work. I'm gonna do my absolute best. But if God is willing, we will be taking this to GT's performance. A huge shout out to him. He's a really good guy. Been talking to him for a few years, way back when I had my uh, spray can G35 video, most of you have probably already seen. Um, I was actually talking with him around that time as well. And he's just a really good guy. And he said my his shop is always open for me. So might have to take a trip to El Paso to uh, get this sanded down and repaint it over there. In the meantime, I might just sand it and then primer it so it doesn't look as terrible with all the paint chipping off. That's a bare exposed metal. So I do have a lot of sanding and a lot of body work to do on this. But uh, in the next video, we will be turning the boost up if God is willing, uh, getting a crank pulley put on here. We'll do that. It's a larger crank pulley. Um, it's, I believe, six inches or something like that. The K20A2 one is five and a half inches, I believe. Uh, I'm not exactly sure on the size. We'll definitely measure when we pull them off. But putting a larger crank pulley on will actually act like a smaller supercharger pulley. So I won't have to change the supercharger pulley, just the crank pulley from a K24. Um, but basically that's uh, supposed to turn the boost up, which would give me a little more power. We might make it to 300 horsepower. Although this kit is pretty much at its limit for the boost levels it's at and all of that, a lot of people think this is supposed to be making 350 horsepower and up. But if you do your research, CompTech rates this kit at like 275 to the crank. And that's not to the wheels. I'm pushing 280 to the wheels, so I'm probably pushing over 300 to the crank. Uh, so I definitely say this kit is doing very good. If we were to get it ported, uh, get a better inlet here, which they do sell an inlet that's way smoother flowing, uh, that would give us a bump in power right there. Maybe an after cooler kit, which is like your intercooler setup, but for a supercharged setup. So I definitely have a lot of plans for this still and uh, maybe go real crazy with this supercharged setup while keeping it a daily. Uh, there's a way to do it. And if there's a will, there's a way. But uh yeah, definitely happy with us both having reliable Acuras. Uh, these are probably my favorite vehicles that I have ever owned in my entire life. I got a Type S, which is something I've always, always, always wanted, and I never thought I'd actually have. And my wife has always wanted a 2008 to, I think, 2013 MDX, and now she has it. And it was on my birthday. It was like she was getting a birthday present on my birthday, but her birthday's right around the corner, so I was just like, happy birthday. Put her name on the title and everything, so she's super happy. She wants to just come out here and do things to it, and she's ex excited. But uh, yeah, we'll definitely have some plans for this. We'll go over that shortly in upcoming videos. Uh, but I still have a ton of work to do to this, but I am absolutely loving how it's driving. I am well pleased with this setup. It's quick. It's not the fastest thing in the world, but it is definitely something I enjoy. Uh, and at the end of the day, that's why I do this. I enjoy what I do. I enjoy helping you guys. I enjoy spreading the word of the good news of Jesus Christ and uh, furthering his ministry and yeah, just reaching as many of you as I can in a positive way. I know a lot of you don't support what I do, but I still love you anyways. Pray for your enemies. It's definitely a number one on my list. It's a hard thing to do sometimes, especially when they're bad mouthing, but I love you guys anyways. It don't matter. But yeah, that's basically it for this video. I just wanted to give you a quick little update. There will be another video coming out shortly on the crank pulley, so definitely stay tuned. If you are new here, please consider clicking that subscribe button, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. But as I like to say, God bless, stay safe, stay awesome.